Hmm. Right then. <clears throat> Wednesday night. And we've finally got the loop completed. Need to trim that track, obviously. Nailing that down was fun. I had to squeeze into the gap. Reach my hands up like a weird octopus. Knock it all down. The good news is, as we come past here, there's just enough room now for me to fit my low relief station back in there. So, there we are. That's nice. The loop line's now connected with flexi track into the depot. Very nice. Should just be enough room for the loading bay there. Fence behind it. A little reception area there. With all this crap. Yeah. Room now to the uh, the very messy container yard. Full loopage going around there. Hammer on the back holding down the track over there. That track needs fastening down I think. Or did I fasten it down before? No, I've already done that. Brilliant. Okay. Friday night. We have trains running. Oh, this has been a long one is this. This is my other local where that stay alive. So this is the default track testing walker. It's just in a full circuit. No issues at all. We're just testing the sidings. A bit quicker than we probably should do. We'll see how things go on. Let's see what happens. Interesting. Hmm. <clears throat> You're stuck. I forgot to hammer in a trap pin. There we go. I don't think it likes the tightness of these curves, which is understandable. It's a big loco. It is what it is. And then again, it might have been the fact that it derailed before. Who knows? Saturday morning. Quick update before work. Had to replace the point that was there. It had a old Hornby one in, and these are just absolutely shit. No other word for them. I'm sure someone will tell me I'm wrong, but all I know is it was as straight as could possibly be. The rails are in good condition, and it was just sending that local off. All this road and stuff, nothing would traverse that way or that way. I've put this Pico one back in now. And no issues at all with it. Simple as that. So there we are. It is set track. That one's streamlined. The streamlined ones are better, but uh, I couldn't find any. And I had one of the set track ones, so I used those. So yeah. Saturday evening. That's it. All this track is now properly fastened down. We've also had to go back, well I say had to, I've made an executive decision. We've gone back to the magnetic couplings. Several reasons. One is that they are far less complicated than the KDs. And for my applications, my setup, my railway, etc, they work absolutely fine. Not sure at all. I'm gonna I'll go into that a little bit more in depth in another video where I'll be doing a direct comparison. 
pros and cons of each and, and what have you. But for, uh, for now that's it. TMD is getting there. Just need to do a few more bits and then start fitting the roof. And then we can start detailing the sides, put some things in there, and then that'll be it then. Okay. Right folks, so that's it for this update. Uh, hope you have a good Sunday. Or you're having a good Sunday, or etc. 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 There'll be a hopefully a new video for Wednesday. Cheers now, I'll see you soon. Don't forget to be a legend, like, comment and subscribe. Cheers!